Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Have you done your weekly challenges yet? If not, that's okay, I will guide you through. Hey guys, so this week you can easily win 130 free atoms by simply completing the weekly challenges, except the alcoholic beverages one. I really don't like it, it's so much trouble just for 30 points or atoms. But if you know how to do it, if you have all the recipes, then go ahead and do it as well. I am not including that one as usual, but I'm going to show you how can you get salt of the earth. It's basically a shotgun, a quite decent one that you can get by accomplishing a few soup points in the survival mode. So thumbs up for that. And without any further delay, let's start the journey on how can you get or earn 130 free atoms. Let's do this. <laughs> Let's start with the easiest point, which is basically to claim the Tyler County Dirt Track Workshop, which is to the west of your map. I advise you to first fast travel to Vault 76 to save a lot of coins, unless your camp is closed, then in that case you don't have to. Then fast travel to the nearby point, in this case it was this event, leader of the pack, pretty handy I must say. Then kill whatever enemies are left in here. In my case, I didn't have any. So I just had to go near the workshop, pay some caps and wait for it to be mine. Now, keep in mind that it's taking longer because this workshop was previously owned by someone else. Yes, it's the workshop for the weekly challenges. So a lot of people are going to do this, but that's okay. Normally people don't really contest it. So you should be able to do it fairly easily. For the second challenge I have chosen the kill enemies in Grafton because, well, the city is pretty close and it's very easy to do this. All you have to do is head to Grafton and start killing everything you see. Now, you might have to server jump a few times because first, there aren't that many enemies as the ones they are asking you, 25 is a decent amount. And secondly, if you have other players in this area, which was my case, then that number will be even less. So feel free to kill whatever you can find and then sever jump to do the same until you reach 25 and then you will be pretty much done with this challenge. There are absolutely no tricks in here. You can kill any type of enemy you can find as long as you are still in Grafton. It's all around the city, as well as in the water nearby, you can kill insects, frogs and so on. This is one of the easiest weekly challenges I have ever done in Fallout 76. The third weekly challenge that I have chosen is also something very easy to do. You have to choose three creatures from the list they give you and kill them. Now. First go to the Charleston capital city, where you can find a Grafton monster. So I have chosen a Grafton, then a Behemoth and a Merloquin. And this is the first giant huge creature I choose. Then you can go to Solomon's Pond, where you will be able to find the Behemoth in the middle of the lake. He is a bit tough, so maybe... You want to use a power armor if you can kill him fast enough. But he has this animation when you first attack him, which gives you plenty of time to take him down. That's two to go. Then uh, finally, you can go to Max Farm because it's like a line with the three locations. And you will always find a Mirror Queen in the middle of this um, Cranberry Pound. I advise you to go inside the power armor because it hits very strongly and I don't want to risk dying especially because I'm full of rats so that's how we do it it's one way there are many others and I know there are also many other locations for these three monsters that I have just chosen 
So far, so good, but things are about to get a little bit nasty with this fourth weekly mission, and it's not in a sense of being difficult, because it's really not difficult, especially with the location that I will provide you here at the Overseer's Camp. If you have watched my other weekly challenge guides, you will know this location by far, because it's basically where you can find every single critter in the game. Yes, that's about right, but you will have to sever jump thousands of times. If you are lucky, then maybe a dozen would be enough, but in my case, I usually have to sever jump around 20 times to actually find everything they ask in the list. So you can find um, everything except Brahmin. For that, you need to go to Flatwoods or the Green Country, Lodge, which is very close, that should be no issue, but everything else you can find in this little location here, past the bridge, in the other side of the river of the overseas camp. And as I said, all you have to do is sever jump and hope for the best. Hope that you find the only creature that you're looking for. And a little tip here, keep using your weapon and VAT system to target the nearby creatures so you can see um, what is there for you without actually seeing it with your eyes, you know, you can just select it automatically. And if there is something that you need, then grab your camera, aim and then take a photograph. That's usually how I do it. If they run away from you, then chase them and take them down, then take a picture, because that counts as well. So there you go, two little tricks for you. Another thing that can help you is to uh, server jump by going to social and then join your friend's server. It's a little bit quicker than to leave the server, wait a little bit, and then join in hopes that you will be in a different server. You can also join survival servers because, you, you know, it's 100% different than the adventure server you were just in. Now for the Bremens, you can go here to the Green Country Lodge, as I mentioned before. You go forward a little bit and then you will usually find these three Bremens in here. There are four more ahead towards Flatwoods, but this spawn is right here. Now, for the dog, I managed to find it not exactly at the other spawn, but here around this tent area. And as a dog, it can be a mongrel, like this type of dog. It actually counts. I didn't think it would, but it actually did, so here, a great information for you. Finally, I couldn't find an opossum. I know it spawns at the first location I told you, but I came across this little guy here at the Green Country Lodge. So there you go, you have plenty of locations to search and find everything you need to complete this weekly challenge. You have earned your free 130 atoms, now it's time to go into survival and check how can you earn your weekly weapon called Salt of the Earth. So let's start with claiming a workshop which is basically at the farm and I suggest you to actually go into adventure and log out in a location that is very close to the workshop because that way you can simply run towards it and it's very easy. So this is a little trick for you. I went here to the Kanawa Cemetery and then I logged in survival. And that makes things so much easier. Because then I only have to run like one minute and I will be right at the doorstep of the workshop we need to claim for this survival challenge. Make sure to kill all the scorch around the Billings Homestead workshop and keep an eye on the things they drop. If they drop some tools like uh, farming tools, <clears throat> which we kind of need for one of the soup points of this challenge, make sure to pick them up. In my case, they dropped a fire axe and then a pickaxe. I collected both and 
attempted to claim the workshop. I waited a little bit until things were done. And then more Scorched appeared and that's when I switched my weapons and I tried to see if any of the weapons I collected worked for this sub point. The fire axe doesn't count as a farming tool for some reason, but the pickaxe does, so that's great. If you get one, you are really lucky and you don't really need to do anything else to complete this point. But if you are not lucky enough, I will show you a location nearby to actually get a farming tool and then you can kill whatever you find and get it done. As you can see, the pickaxe counted and that's pretty handy for me. If you move forward towards this corner here, you will find a shovel right near the wood and this steel barrel, it's right here. And it's near the main building and this little shack with a yellow roof. So just to give you a little indication where the shovel is located. Since you are here, you might as well pick up some crops because that's part of the challenge. I went ahead and picked some corn. It works just as good as any other wild plant out there. There are more around this farm, but feel free to choose. Now go ahead and get even more corns to plant one in the workshop. Otherwise you can head to your camp. I did that because I wanted to try and milk my Bermin. So I just gathered some rather grain from my garden and then I proceed to plant one in my camp. So one way or the other it counts. You just have to plant a crop and that's basically it. The last and long step is to successfully milk a Brahmin. It took me so long to do this, so I went to the, con to the Queen Country Lodge as usual to find the pack of Brahmins. There are two in this location, as you probably know by now. And there was a guy killing them in survival mode. I guess he kind of knew we had to do this for the weekly challenges. And there was only one left and he didn't give me any milk, the bastard. So I went back to my camp because I had already killed quite a few and repaired my Brahmin uh, chak in my camp. That's another trick in case you don't know. So you can try to milk your Brahmin if he refuses, like he did. You can just kill it. I know it's, you know not good but I wanted to do this so I killed it and then I repaired the shack you only need steel and razor grain now I have razor grain for free as you can see so I only need steel and I have plenty of it and when the Brahmin finally gives you the milk you get salt of the earth it's a shotgun and it has some interesting stats so it shots an additional projectile it also has 15 percent faster reload and then you get six percent damage while aiming i mean it's not exceptional but it's a pretty decent shotgun if you don't have a bloodied one or an explosive damage one <laughs> Well, that's how you finish these week's challenges. They are very easy in my opinion. I think this is probably the week where I found them to be the easiest ever, but I haven't always done every single week, so it's a bit difficult for me to judge. However, I hope you guys have found this guide useful, and I also hope that you could get your free 130 atoms as well as the salt of the earth. It's a pretty decent weapon, if you don't want it, you can always sell for some free caps. I am Marta Branco, thank you so much for watching. If you are new around, feel free to subscribe to my channel to help me grow. Thank you so much in advantage. Also, you can check my Patreon page if you would like to support me even further. I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Take care, adios, bye bye.